Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Ravicciarino and I am responsible of electronics for the Motorcycle Technical Center in Piaggio Group. As all of you know, Tono uh, V4 has the last generation radio wire system. You can select three different radio wire maps even while riding, just release the twist grip even while riding and double click the start push button. We have three different maps. The first one is the track map, it's a no compromise map, that means full torque, more for track use. Then we have the sports map, it's still full torque, but uh, with the smoother behavior the first touch. I call this map a fine map, because it's still full torque, but more smooth than the first touch. And the last map is the road map, where we have 25% uh, less power in the world range. APUC, a real performance rate control, is an eye hand package consisting of heat levels, advanced traction control, three level wheelie control, three level launch control and quick shift. I want to remember you that uh, in 2011 we were first to introduce an eye hand package like this one. An eye level package where traction control level can be changed even while riding by the indicated joystick on the left handlebar, we were first to introduce this functionality. We were first to introduce the possibility of tire replacement. If you want to change tire brands, you can do standalone by a procedure on the dashboard. You just go into the dashboard menu and select calibrate. And we still are the only one that will leave this possibility from the dashboard. We were first to introduce the concept of race display. We have a matrix display, so we leave you the possibility to switch from the road display, where are highlighted the most important information for road use. We leave you the possibility to switch to the race display, where are highlighted the most important information for track use, like lap time, road temperature, here. We were first in 2011 to introduce an advanced traction control with a pattern called the slip control. And so if you know, a traction control calculates the uh, slip parameters that show the difference between the front speed and the rear speed. These parameters show how much the rear wheel is faster compared to the front one, because when you are accelerated from a corner, the rear wheel starts to spin due to the acceleration. The target of the standard traction control is to prevent from the exceeding of a predeterminated slip threshold. This means that when you are accelerating, the slip increases because the rear wheel is spinning. When the slip achieves the threshold, exceeds the threshold, the system is to stop. Starting from this point, you don't have any more chance for further torque request from the right handlebar. This is a standard traction control. In our system in 2011, we have a, a good idea for each level we have two thresholds, so for each of the eight levels we have two thresholds, the lower threshold and the upper threshold. When the slip exceeds the lower threshold, in our system you have the possibility for further request from your right hand. You have the possibility for further request of the percentage of slip until the upper threshold. So in between the two thresholds, where the system is active, is on, and you can see on the dashboard that the lamp is flashing. You have a direct link between your right hands and the tail sliding of the bike. This means that you have this, this movement on your right hands. And this improves your sensibility while riding. The system helps you to better understand how far from the limits you are. Because you are the rider, you are, as we say, in the loop. Physical law can't be won, so don't try to, 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 to win physical law. Uh, so what, what we can do with the electronic is to help you to ride more relaxed and to better understand how far from the limits you are. In 2011 we were first to introduce a wheelie control system and we still are the only one. Don't misunderstand, please, the the sudden reaction of the traction control with uh, a wheel control. As I told you before, this lead parameter measures how fast the rear wheel is compared to the front one. But when you are wheeling, 
So the, the slip parameter measures the, the, the relation between these two speeds. When you are wheeling, the front wheel slow down due to the wheel. But due to the fact that uh, the slip parameter measures the relative speed between, between these two wheels, the slip parameter increases when you are wheeling because the front wheel slows down. So the slip, uh, the slip exceeds the threshold and the traction control is to stop, but the traction control. We are able to understand, we are able, and we pattern, we are able to understand when the wheel starts and when it finishes. So during this mean time, so during the wheeling time, we de deactivate the traction control or only during this mean time, and we react by reducing torque in slow way because we have, we call it slow, uh, because the column of failure of the intake here is slow, not because butterfly is slow. We call uh, uh, slow weight that means uh, by reducing the opening of the butterfly. So we react by reducing in slow way and in fast way that means by reducing the spark advance to gentle lower the front wheel. I want to underline to gentle lower the front wheel, not to sudden like in a traction control reaction, lower the front wheel. We have three levels of wheel control. Level number three for shorter wheel. The level number one for the longer wheel. If you want, you can deactivate the wheel control for the free wheel. We were first to introduce a launch control of production motorcycle in 2011 with three level launch control. Well, today we have an improvement of the UPRC. We have a new software trimming for the traction control. So, the previous version of the traction control. Uh, was linked to the linear angle information and to the slip parameter that I have explained. So today, the traction control is still linked to, to this true information plus vehicle speed. This means that uh, the behavior of the traction control is more homogeneous in the whole lab. To give you a good support in very fast, long corner, without losing acceleration in very tight and slow corner. This means that by using the same level of traction control, you don't lose acceleration in slow corner. Let me say first gear, second gear corner. <coughs> Keep it good support, very fast, third, fourth gear corner. New software team means uh, a new torque controller an additional torque controller. The previous version uh, had only the slow torque controller, the, the torque controller that used uh, the butterflies. 98% of the time the torque is reduced by slow torque. This is why it's so smooth, so gentle, it's like there's someone that is breaking the rear for you. And 3-4% of the time the torque is reduced by fast reaction, that means by reducing spark advance without cutting ignition due to the life of the catalyst. So in between, we have a small overlap. We add an additional torque controller called Overslip torque controller to allow a more homogeneous behavior of the torque reduction in the whole range of frequency. The last improvement for the PLC is a new setting for the wheelie control map one that is more uh, racing oriented. So the wheelie, is more, wheelie control is more free. Considering our racing DNA, we always declared that uh, an ABS system would have been fit uh, on our top-end uh, V4 motorcycle only when we were sure it had the best braking performances on this track. Well, finally, today that time has come, so we are proud to introduce the new Tuono V4 ABS. We are talking about uh, a Bosch ABS system. A system that uh, allows three different maps, plus their RLM functionality, that is rear wheel lift up mitigation functionality. So rear wheel lift up mitigation. It's a system that uh, ensure ensure their uh, rear wheel ground contact under hard braking condition. So ensure the contact of the rear wheel under hard braking condition. Three different map. Map number one is more track oriented for the ABS calibration where the rear wheel lift up mitigation is disabled. So, map number one, the rear wheel can lift up. Map number two is in between the track and the road. 
where we have the rear wheel tap mitigation disabled over 140 km per hour, progressive between 80 km per hour and 140 km per hour, and uh, completely enabled under 80 km per hour. This progressive functionality is, uh, is an exclusive uh, for us from Washington. The last map is the, the map number three. It's more uh, road oriented or very wet condition where the rear wheel lift up mitigation is always enabled every time. Uh, we think that uh, this electronic system, previous version in acceleration and today, starting from today, also on braking, improve your safety on racetrack because uh, helps you to understand how far from the limits you are and uh, this way you ride more relaxed and you have more fun you drive safe but also, and this is really important for us to improve your safety on public road because uh, uh, you never know what should, should happen on public road traction control, wheel control and DPS can be deactivated if you want I don't suggest you to do it because I trust in what they said. So, if you want to deactivate, you test because you are a professional tester. So, do it just for your your information. I look for rain because in this way you can test, you can better test electronics. The safety of electronics probably you will not hope for rain. <laughs> Have fun. It's so fun. Okay. Let's talk briefly about the bikes that we have uh, at your disposal. All the bikes are standard, both bonus and RSB4. Uh, standard means that there are no uh, accessories, <coughs> uh, just the setting of the suspension made by our testers to fit the condition and the track. Uh, maybe you can see in your program that there are two different names for the tonos, but the tonos are all the same, just to give you more possibilities about the pictures. We have some tonos with plate, mirrors and light, and some tonos without them, but all standard, no difference. Um, here we have also one of our most important partners, both on the production and both on the racing uh, point of view, and there is any which uh, provide us the lubricants and the fuel, both for the production and for the racing use. Uh, they will be here at your disposal if you have yeah. questions or something. Thank you, Bortani. I've got a question about the lubricants. I'm interested to have any in Santorato Milanese. I'm only interested in the mobility of the 